forgot to activate the mic. Okay, so for the last five minutes, I was actually just talking to myself. <laughs> so uh, for those of you who are still on the channel here, still on the stream, I mean, here, I'll, here let me, uh, okay, there we go. I had to mute my stream here. Okay, so as I said again, um, this little guy here, um, ba Bababile, he's actually, I created him um, a couple days ago as a new new minstrel character for my, basically a son as uh, for my main. And I wanted to uh, run through the quests, you know, from beginning to end and read the actual stories behind them and actually understand the stories that make them what they are. And there's a lot that I actually ended up uncovering, um, just like the one I just did now. Um, I, I guess I can still see them because I, I realized that I was actually speaking to anyone. But I wanted to really read through them and kind of understand the story behind all the arcs that we, most of us who have been around since the beginning have kind of either rushed through or have forgotten. And so those are cool little things that I've been uh, uncovered, you know, kind of have an idea of what Strider or Aragorn did before he went to meet up with the Hobbits and and some other other stories. And I, I think it's really important for us, you know, if, if you're playing these games to really make it worthwhile, unless you've done it once all the way through, but actually doing a complete read through of the actual quests. So last time we played, um, I ran through the introduction. And the introduction included, you know, basically included the burning of Archit, which one of the big things that I realized after I finished, after I helped them, looks like my stream is having a little bit of lag. Let me know who, who's in the chat right now. Who's in? Hey, guys, you too. Um, let me know if, how, how's the, the integrity of the stream. Because it's kind of bugging out right now. It's a little laggy. Let me, let me check my sound. It looks like the voice seems to come through without lag. Yeah, but at least he's standing there by himself. Okay. So, like I was saying, um, I, the first episode was um, going through Archit, uh, where Archit had ended up burning down, and Admir was taken away from uh, with the Cargules, or the more, yeah, Cargules. And one of the big things I realized is that after we left, I didn't, we didn't stay to help, and so we left and went back to the Shire. And so before, when I was actually having issues with the, with the sound, I didn't realize it. Uh, the first guy I came over here was Mundo, which was there with us in Saxville, back, or over there in uh, Archit. Um, and so, this is actually the end of the actual prologue. Um, this is outrageous, Bababile. I would not be satisfied until I received compensation for my treatment at the hands of the, those black wolves. I have been most ill-used, as more than, uh, more than any hobbit would stand. A Saxville Baggins should be able to travel throughout the Shire and even into Bree if he wishes it, without danger of being abducted. And when a Saxville Baggins is promised gold, he had better receive some gold when, um, when the whole thing is done with it. It's only fair. Well, let me go back here so I can actually see if you guys are even chatting at all. There we go. I read this letter uh, while you were off looking for John Brackenburg. It doesn't include business with me, uh, with the Brigabands uh, burning Archit or that ranger becoming so queer, but it's sure to be enough for old flower dumpling. Take my letter to Mayor Will White or Whitfoot in Michael Delving. It'll be just outside of Town Hall, which will be to your left surrounded by hedges when you enter town. So on the first quest here, oh, I've already accepted the quest, the initial uh, end of the quest where you get your starter. And one of the starter, um, like your map, 
and all that. One of the main things I actually learned from that one, which I never realized, is the fact that <coughs> I, the character, told us to, and I'll, I'll hear I was, I was having such a big issue with uh, here we left Archit you know, without helping him. And it turns out I was actually the one who did it. <laughs> I told him to march their way back here. And so I want to find out actually why that was. Because it really never explains why we just immediately come back here instead of actually helping arch it. Um, so on that one that wants us to take it to Mayor Will, so that's going to be down in Michael Delving. We have a little Delving here. And so that's the first one. It looks like it's the main one that's going along the, the epic string. Then we got our boundary here. Alright, so we have a couple here. So they want you to, they want you to immediately go to Breetown, which I'm gonna do it in due course, but again, I want to read through these quests and kind of take care of everything that I can as it happens. Alright, from the Shire to Breetown. Feeling a bit cooped up here in the Shire, eh? I say that you should go to Bree, where the men dwell. There is bound to be work for an uh, enterprising sort like yourself. Head east along the road, and you'll reach the gates of Bree before you know it. Stay to the road, mind you, and the bounders don't uh, stray far from the Shire. When you reach Bree Town, speak to the mayor. He's a friendly fellow and uh, might find a use for your talents. Well, I don't want to leave the Shire yet, because I just got here. And so, um, he has one other here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until we go to Shire. So now he wants me to join the Bounders. Not if I don't have to wear, not if I have to wear that hat. I'll just wear my, if I can join the Bounders and wear my floppy hat, I will. All right. There's tell your, wait, what? There's tell your... One of that helps uh, those in need. Well, if you want to help a Shire folk, you have to join the Bounders. Most hobbits are friendly enough, but suspicious of strangers. Oh, you know what? What I needed to do, because when you listen to these, or when you're going through here, it's actually pretty silent. So let me get my Spotify up here. Hold on here. So you can actually hear some music. The music that I was actually running through on the first episode it's actually music that is by the Lonely Mountain Band. Not only is the Lonely Mountain Band a kinship on the Langevall server in which I'm a part of, but it also is an actual real band. And so you, actually, you can actually find the Lonely Mountain Band on Spotify. And which is, now I don't have the full version of it, so whenever we actually encounter. <laughs> Um, any of the ads, I'm just going to mute the actual music. But I'm going to start for the first one here. I think I have it on random. Let me adjust the sound. Let me know how that sounds. That sounds a little better. I'm going to see how it sounds of the stream. I guess you guys can't, it's not coming across, is it? Is a uh, sound coming, or the music coming across at all? I think it's coming across. No? I can't tell. Come on, Impressional Monkey, Tally, I know you're there. <laughs> I just need to know if it, you can actually hear the music. Can't really tell. Sounds like it should be there. It's there. I can hear the audio. 
the, the sound out here. I don't think it's coming through. Actually, I think I know why. Okay, hold on here. I need. Is this trying to come through my earpiece? It should be coming out of. Let's try this here. Let's try that. Let's see what's going through. I'm just a minstrel. Let's try this here. Wandering horse. Now all who wander are always lost. I can sing to you. Let's try that. Okay, it sounds like it's actually going through now. It was going through. Let's try this here. Yeah, because I'm actually hearing an echo. Okay, cool. It's coming through. Alright, like I said, this is actually the music by the Lonely Mountain Band, which is not only a kinship on the Landerval server, they're actually uh, musicians. They uh, actually compose their own music. Okay, so let's back to our story. Okay, uh, if you want to join the watch as, the, as a bounder, you have to speak to the second sheriff. He's, he's the only one who can sign you up. You'll find him in Michael Delving near Town Hall. So we'll submit us to Michael Delving. Second Sheriff Bunce is respected by most folk. So if he uh, says you're a, a right sort, then we'll, uh, they'll listen. All right. Well, accept this guy here. So we're uh, heading off to uh, Michael Delving on that one. So looks like we have a couple more over here. This is the crafting one, I think. I'm not going to worry about crafting with this guy. But we actually have uh, a postman. Again, I've never really read through the, the the post one, so that's pretty cool. Oh, hello! Are you passing through? Would you perhaps be heading down to Michael Delvey? Do you have a satchel that... Um, I have a satchel that must be delivered to Postmaster Proudfoot in Michael Delvey. The reputation of the quick post service isn't what it once was. Just like all post offices, I guess. And I and I really want gentle hobbits throughout the Shire uh, to once again trust the speed delivery of their mail. Would you mind taking it from the table over there and delivering it to the postmaster um, Proudfoot? He can be found in the square outside of Town Hall. Just look for the town wall. Town wall or stone wall. <laughs> Please deliver it to him as quickly as you can. If you won't, or you won't be happy uh, with me if you get if I get him to him, if I get it to him late. Oh, and uh, let's uh, let no busybodies bother you as you deliver the mail. Come rain, come shine, come nosy hobbits. A postman delivered must deliver the mail on time. All right, well. Guess we're going to Michael Delvin as well. Again, oh, it's a mythal trader. Mythal trader? For what? The beginning? This is actually new. Oh, that's if you want. Oh, you can actually get the raid trade. That's right, you can get it from Mithril. I didn't realize these were here now. They added these in. Okay. So, we're going to go to our mail. I'm going to put, I think I'm on walk right now. So our first task is we're going to be running there without any nosy hobbits. Here we go. Woo! As fast, as fast as I can be. Here we go. Uh, watch the radar for any nosy hobbits. As far as I know, as far as I remember, Nosy hobbits are not actually going to be until you're like closer to, to Michael Delving. I think they're actually like 
Oh, freeze up a little bit. Freeze, and there we go. Um, so that's actually the what's northern part of Michael Domi. Uh, oh, so far so good. Some great sights. We still have a ways to go. Is like going around now. We're going south. Whoa, whoa stop freezing. There's no lag. All right, hold on here. I gotta stop for a moment. All right, let's go. Ha! Ah, come on, this is time. There we go. What is that? It says a bounder. Yep. Nice sky tonight. I'm getting close. Gotta watch out for a nosy hobbit. And it's over. It's gonna be. Over. It's over by the by the mayor. No one knows how it's around. Okay. Unless they haven't <laughs> nothing spawned yet. I'm hoping a lazy hobbit hasn't spawned or is here. I just I can't see it yet. I guess I should have restarted my system before I started this, so I can actually see people do it. Oh, there's some people showing up now. Sounds person. All right, we're good to go. All right, come here, postmaster. All right, so here is uh, one of many of the one tier, and what I like is is see here is that if you complete all of these actual um, postmaster stuff, um, the actual uh, no satchels, there is the deed for it. I want, and that is yeah, the life. That's the life of a bounder. Here's the quick post one. So if you do all these quick posts, you actually end up getting more turbine points, marks, a um, patience trait, and increased uh, reputation, which is pretty much common. And as a life of a bounder, um, well, that's gonna be the standard quests within the shot. Passion and increased reputation. So that's gonna be the standard stuff there. I'm gonna have to set my specialization. I know I don't have any points yet, but I think he, I'm not sure, you know, again, really never focus on the start of this. You know, the last time we played, I actually really looked and kind of understood the actual skills that I selected, so I created them in an order. Oh. Thanks for following. I can't tell who this was. Who is that? Zagos? Thanks for following. Okay. So here, I think... The traits that I had, or the skills that I had, I was focusing on damage as single. And then, of course, if I group up, uh, focus on do the, do the healing. So I think whichever one helps add, um, add to my advantage or my combat, I think probably if I just go with a uh, call or. What, what's, what line is this? They're calling this. The Warrior Scowled. So I think this is the Warrior, the warrior Scowled. The Watcher of Resolved is the one that is for healing. This is for damage. I think this is what equal. Like, each one of them. This one does light damage. This helps with the Codas. It's incoming healing buffs. So that's more of the group stuff. I think I might go with the Warrior Scowled. Okay, now I can see chat. Okay, so let's go with the Warrior Scum. Spec 2, which I can't do anything yet. But we'll get to that as I go. Okay. And my title, my Bababile the Weary. Now, I didn't really even speak about uh, what the name was. Um, Forte, which is my main character, um, well, main position. Um, is it's a, an Italian name representing loud music, so he, he's always like a boisterous, loud kind of hobbit. 
Um, Fabavile, which is his son, quote unquote son, um, which I guess I can never tag him as my son. So he actually created as as an account, so I guess I should have thought about that. I can't actually tag him as a son. Um, but Bababile is when you're selling online. It's exciting to watch the <sighs> orders flowing. What's not so exciting? I want Shipping you. them out. Silence. Um, it's actually um, baroque style music, um, and so I wanted to kind of focus on still using the same Italian. Um, types of uh, music names for him. And a Foratura, which is actually the character I created as his daughter, which is actually one of the characters that I use as, uh, well, the character that I use to duel, do like duo uh, music with, uh, music performances. Um, her name actually is a representation of like flowery style of music. And so I think I'm probably going to dress her up in like teal clothing and like, uh, Flowers kind of represents her name. So I'm not going to do the post master right now. Maybe wait until we're done here in Michael Delving. Um, kind of use him as a, as a guide to be able to get to the other areas. And I think we still can't do the music yet. So it's still on the ads. Let's go back to the uh, Mayor Will Whitfoot from before. Get yourself back here in case anyone. Met. Messages. Prologue. Mundo's complaint. What's this? Oh dear. A letter from Saxville Baggins is not something you want to see. He's holding me personally accountable for his troubles in Breland. How was he even there? I've never even been outside the Shire. And now I'm supposed to pay just compensation to his family? But he took no hand and was an archit of his own accord? You don't happen to know why, why I wanted to be mayor, do you? Because I seem to have forgotten. Okay, well, you took the job. I thought about Mundo's demand that I pay compensation for his ill treatment in Breland. Bababile, and I, I, I'm not going to do it. We simply can't afford to pay money to satisfy a single hobbit for an experience that was his own fault to begin with. Let's out here. The Saxville Baggins have never liked me either. I think it was one of, um, one of them um, that started calling me Flower Dumpling after the roof of a town hall gave way and buried me in chalk, you know? Don't mind, don't mind when the sheriff Called, or I don't, I don't mind when the sheriff called me that, but for the Saxville Bagginses, it, it is just too much. The time has come to take a stand. I will not be bullied by Saxville Bagginses any longer. They can't push me around, and I don't mind telling them all, telling them that. Well, actually, I'm a little busy. Run along to Bag Inn, north of Hobbiton, and tell the Bilia that for me, well, yeah. Uh, well, I guess the Billy is like, yeah, I guess she's probably like the main troublemaker for the Saxon Baggins, or with the Saxon Baggins ever since, uh, Frodo left and since Bilbo left. So I guess she's kind of maybe the head of the household, family, line type of thing. I guess it makes sense why it's going to her. Um, so the other one I had the second sheriff, the Billy, and Mayor, oh, women. Mayor from Freetown. So I guess Assistant Falahide. Guess I can I can help you. All right. Mayor would put set aside some money to refurbish Town Hall in Michael Delving. Or maybe that's because of the roof fell in. But it seems the carpenters haven't received it, and they won't work unless they are paid. One of the mayor's other assistants, Griffo Boffin, was supposed to make sure. The carpenters received the money. He hasn't shown up for work, though, and I'm worried that something has happened to him. I wonder if he's related to Bingo Boffin. He lives up in Needle Hole, far to the north and beyond the Rush Shock Bog. Please visit Griffle, make sure, he, um, make sure he's all right, and then return here with the missing money. Griffle lives near the center of Needle Hole. 
The best way to get there is to head west to Wing Meet and then follow the road north and west through the Rush Shock Bog until you reach Needlehole. I would do it myself, but I'm responsible for making sure the mayor's image remains untarnished and, well, with Mayor Whit Whit Whitfoot, that job to take uh, the top that makes more uh, make more hours than there are uh, than there are in the day. All right, fine. Okay, uh, twenty-two. I don't think I can do two-handed. I can't do shields. So if I don't need you, let's let's, let's cost the most. Let's take the club. Cost the most. Sell it. All right, so where is where'd you go? Where's my uh? I want I want I want some reputation. I guess I can't get it yet. Okay, that's just the rewards. Duh. Okay, how's how's it going, everyone? Everyone in chat. Just noticed we got a couple more uh, showing up here. Zingor. Tally's still there. Impressionable Monkey's still there. How you guys doing tonight? Okay, oh, and Rolo. Rolo, God, everyone wants my help. Who's that over there? Oh, there's a sheriff. I need a sheriff. Alright, second sheriff, Bado Bunce. So you were sent by my way, were you? Well, I've heard good things about you, and I'm glad to have you uh, helping us out. Welcome. Well met. Well hired. Okay, good. Help out as many Shire folk as you can, and you'll rise the rank, or rise through the ranks. Our our cares um, seem seem of small importance to others. The delivery of mail, the tasting of fine foods, I can do that. The lighting of fireworks, but you and I know are, uh, they are worth protecting. These peaceful ways are threatened and danger can be found even throughout the Shire. Aid our people with their daily concerns, but if you travel to more distant villages such as Needlehole, Overhill, or Brockenboring, or Brockenboring um, bring a weapon with you. Bounder, uh, life is dangerous on the borders of the Shire, and the further you get up the Michael Delvey and the Hobbiton, the more likely you are to see combat. You know what? I guess since I am now a Bounder. Ooh, that's right. Let me get the uh, quest here. It's like nice the map. I'm still gonna run through, run around on foot. I don't have my horse yet. Do you have? Okay. What? Because I am a bounder, I guess I can go ahead and wear my hat now. Because I have to fulfill my job. Let uh, me throw it up as a cosmetic hat. Wait. I guess it's the regular hat. And. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I guess I should have selected cosmetic ones. So, but here's a question is it a better hat? Yeah, the bounder hat is better. Okay. I guess I'm a bounder with a bounder hat. Hey, that looks like a peacock feather. I didn't realize that. Alright. Let's take a look here. Well, I'm a bounder with a bounder hat. Alright, well, it's still my job. It's as, as long as my, uh, my loot will do what it needs to. Alright, so we have the postman. Postman over there, and then we have Rolo over here. That, that he seems to need some help. Okay, let's see what we got. Hello there. You wouldn't mind helping me uh, out with a with a game of hiders and seekers, would you? You see, my friend Daisies and Polo have convinced me to play, even though they always hide in the same places. It isn't nearly as much fun when your friends are so unimaginative, as I'm sure you realize. It would be fantastic if you could round them up for me. I'll give you a coin or two if you help me out, but I don't know how many more, I, how many more times I can pretend to be surprised 
that Daisy is hiding in the bushes next to Keona Grubb's home, or that Polo is crouched behind the card statue of Marco and Blanca. You'll find the statue card in the large tree stump just uh, south of here, and I'm sure that Polo Brick House is uh, hiding right by it. Southeast of the statue, there's a small hill that several hobbits' uh, houses uh, behind the wooden fence. Daisy thinks the, the bushes to the right of Peona Grubb's house are a clever place to hide. Find my friend for me, and next time, I'll try and tell tell them I don't feel like playing hiders and seekers. Well, next time, you're not going to ask me, because I'm, I only want to play them once. Okay, so... I guess the first one is Hydras and Seekers. That's the closest. So let's go. And I think it's finding Polo. Polo's gonna be over here. There are statues here. I think, as far as I can remember. Uh, was he over here? There you are. Hey, Polo. You think you're if this is a good hiding spot? No, I don't think so. Pretty simple. Haha! <laughs> Rilla sent you to find me, did he? It always takes him so long to find us. Just between you and me, I don't think he's very good at hiders and seekers. I'll stay here and think about where I can hide for our next game. Well, I think you both have a, a wrong impression of each other. <laughs> okay, easy. Easy, you're going to be up the hill. Through the bounders, as I bound, <laughs> I'm a bounder that's bounds bounding. <laughs> bound, bound, bound. Those two up here. So there's Pion. Oh, Pion is Rob. Let's just get take care of Daisy first. Rolla sent you to look for me. Oh, he always gives up so easily. I'm not sure that you can do, uh, you, um, you can do, I guess it's a female voice, right? I'm not sure that you can even do that in the game of Hydras and Seeks. I'm pretty sure it's against the rules. If you don't find the Hydras yourself, you aren't much good of a seeker, are you? Anyway, I'll wait here until Rolo finds everyone else. This is a great hiding place, isn't it? Um, I guess so. I guess you know, it's kind of okay. You know, it depends on whether or not you can see you from up here. I don't think the fence is kind of hard uh, hiding you. It's kind of a see-through fence. Okay, well, I guess it's back to Rolo, but Peel and Grub need something. Everyone needs something. Alright. Worries from Waymeet. I received a most distressing letter. My good friend Dora, the explorer, no? Dora, she's a chicken farm in your way meat, has written to say that a pack of wolves has invaded the Shire and driven her from her farm. She, she's staying in way meat for the time being, but the sooner he can get back to her farm, the better. Can you help? Just take the northeast road right to the center of way meat. You just tell Dor Brownlock that I sent you to the help sent you to help her with her wolf problem. Woods of the Shire What's going on in the world these days? Well, I mean, why wouldn't they be in the Shire? They're like sheep and chickens. And there's really no like walls to prevent them. I guess there's the river. But I guess they can swim, so why wouldn't they be in the Shire? Okay. Well, what's up here? Ruby Primstone. I guess you now need something. <laughs> okay, well, everyone needs something. All right, Ruby Primstone. What are you going on about? You're just the sort I was hoping would come along, a bounder. My brother up in Brock and Borings is a bounder. So ordinarily. I wouldn't ask him to help me with this, but Brockenborn is such a long ways over here, from, from here. 
And I really want to get this problem taken care of as soon as, as possible. As soon as possible. There's a terrible infestation of shrews in the east of here, beyond the dubbing fields. And they're burrowing deep into the soil and ruining the greenery. If you can find <coughs> some of the burrows and close them, that should keep the filthy little beast from the from straying near the town. It's your duty to help me with this, Bounder. God, you really... I mean... I just became one. I mean, don't like... Don't like... Think I have to do everything for you. I mean, I have a Bounder hat. But, I mean, I just started. So, what if I fail? But I'll try to do my best, I guess. Okay, so it looks like... Rolo is our closest opportunity of turning these in. Uh, okay. Make sure it sounds so good. I mean, I just started. So, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go back. Rolo, oh Rolo. They think they're hiding from you. You're all quite quiet tonight. Feel free to chat. I don't bite unless it's pie. Rolo, you're over here. All right, hiders and seekers. Thanks for your help, Babbly. Uh, hiders and seekers is not much fun when your friends always hide in the same place. I don't think it's a game they're very good at. Wait a minute. Did you see that Daisy mentioned hiding until I found everyone else? That's strange. I thought Pol I thought Polo was the only other hobbit I was supposed to be looking for. They mentioned maybe getting Odo to play, but I, I, I didn't think they actually uh, they'd actually do it. There are some coins I promised you, but it, it sounds like your your work as a seeker might not be done yet, Babbly. Well, okay. Who do we have to find? Top hiding place. I actually get some. Yeah, there's some shoes, which I guess there's not. They're no better. Well, I guess they are shoes. Yeah, they're no better, but they have durability. Do I really want shoes that have durability? If I have shoes that are the same armor, that have no durability. If there's no difference there, right? I mean, it doesn't seem better. It's the same price, seven armor, that has durability. That means it could break. And my hiders still have a better cloak. The cloak of the peacekeeper, mind you. So that's still better. This is serious, Babbly. <laughs> I thought I was the uh, I was only playing hiders and seekers with Polo and Daisy, but it sounds like they talked Odo pipes and convinced him to play as well. Should think they might uh, have mentioned that to me. At any rate, Odo has a reputation for being the best hydrant seeker in all the Shire. At least as good as old Bilbo was in his day, or uh, so it's said among folk in the bird and the baby. It sounds like there's a hint there. I don't think it's true, but I do know that unlike Daisy and Polo, Ode Pipes is uh, sure to have a, a capital hiding place, that uh, the very best. I'll get more coins for you if you uh, can find him, Babbly. He'll be hiding somewhere in Michael Delving, so don't wander too far. You might walk to Polo and Daisy again. They might be able to tell you where he's hiding, where he could be hiding. Well, I know where he's hiding, because I've done this quest before. But, I've actually never gone back to them and actually talked to them. So I, I'm actually interested to see what clues they actually give us. I've never actually done that before. I've always known where to go. So let's, let's find out. Um, so let's go and check with Polo. Polo we go. As the bounder bounds, bounding, bounding. When you're selling online, 
It's exciting ah. to watch the orders flowing. Stupid ads, What's go away. So exciting. There we go. Uh, there we go. So, do you have anything to say to me? I don't remember seeing any rings. I mean, there's this guy. Does he have what, what information he has? I guess he does have information. Odo Pipes is the best hider in the Shire. I don't mind telling you that's even better at the game than I am. I don't know where he's hiding, but I do know that he's worked for a while stacking barrels at the Bird and Baby, just to the north. Maybe he mentioned his favorite hiding places to someone in there. See? Again, I've never actually again followed this quest here and actually gone to these different people where they're actually revealing clues. So I think that's actually pretty cool. So let's let's see. I think the other one we can look at and let's go up and talk with Daisy. See if she I think she was up here. I think she has a school. Again, I know where he is, and I know probably most of you there, most of you who are, who are watching know where he is. But again, I, I think the interesting part of the reason why I'm doing this, and I'm actually taking the time doing it, is because of being able to see these like these, these clues and these extra, like, extra little parts of the quests that we really never do. We really just kind of glaze over it and continue on. And I think that's, that's one of the big major parts of uh, playing this game is really to use all these clues and you know, um, like story pieces that uh, this game was uh, created for. So I think that's pretty cool. So how are you guys doing tonight? Who do we have here? Still have Impressionable, um, Talrian, Zingor, and I think I'm the fourth one. So if any of you... Uh, you know, feel free to chat, ask me questions, come uh, quest along with me uh, in the chat room. So I don't feel so alone. It's so alone in here. <laughs> okay. So if any of you have ever, you know, really gone through and like read the quests, um, have you have you really done any, any of that yet? Let's see here. You and Rolo haven't found Odo Pipes yet? It doesn't surprise me. Well, I guess I'm still at the girl. It doesn't surprise me. He's always been the best hider in, uh, hider in the Shire, you know. I don't know where his favorite hiding place places are, though. Uh, he really likes to climb things. Trees, fences, buildings. If you're looking for Odo Pipes, you're probably looking for... I'm looking to be looking in the sky. So the two clues we have so far is the burden baby and in the sky, which is up high, I think, looking in the sky. So I think that is one of our major clues, or two of our major clues. So they've also mentioned going back to the burden baby and let's see if they mention anything. So that gives us a third clue. We'll find out exactly where it's going. What's this, this founder? Um, have we talked to him? Why does he have a uh, ring? What does he say? You should go to. Oh, it's still continuing. You should go to Bree and uh, east along the Great Hood. And see, see, I really didn't notice this. From the Shire to the Bree Town, it's another. I mean, it's not a quest, but it's another interaction in which they're actually helping you get to the location where they want you to get to. So they want us to take the East Road and speak with the mayor, Bramy Tinderbrook March. Again, I've never noticed this guy. This is actually pretty cool. He actually acknowledges the quest that we're actually on. Okay, well, let's continue what we're doing now. Let's go up to um, the bird and the baby, which is over here. So far, there's no additional quests. So they've only given us, what, five so far? Well, actually, I guess while I'm here, I should use a milestone. 
All right, we're bound here. <laughs> the bounder who's bounding <laughs> around the vine stone because now I'm bound here. <laughs> so funny. Maybe I'm just laughing at myself. Okay, no rings. No rings here. Must be inside. Okay. All right. Oh, we got a um. Who has a ring? I guess the townskeep. That might be a new quest. Do we have any like blue rings? Ooh, hobby prizes. What do I get? I want to get some like gear. Give me some gear. Uh, uh two of defense. Okay, fine. I'll put you in my bag that has these guys. Okay. So, takes you to the rep area. And this takes you to, wait, what? Oh, wow. I know, that's for the rep stuff, but I've never noticed you down here. Oh, who just showed up? Blood raid. Oh, oh, okay. You're just uh, advertising. Blood raid. Blood raid. Blood raid. I guess that is in my chat here. How are you guys doing tonight? Griffin Storm, Heidi. Yo, what's up, Bloodborne? So, uh, to kind of give an idea of what I'm doing here. Is I've been playing for like nine years. And I've really never focused on actually reading through the actual quests. And we always see these extra little rings around here that are running around and really never look at them. I've never really focused and looked at them. And I've already, I mean, I've learned a lot from these extra quests. How, you know, a lot, a lot of these people that we see that we never really talk to gives you these extra clues to uncover this stuff. Now, we have the crest rings, the um, quest rings here, which I might actually end up disabling. Oh, well, thanks, uh, thanks for uh, the host there. I appreciate it. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> now, yeah, I mean, I've noticed a lot of the stuff where, I mean, I mean, we've been playing for so long, and we've really kind of glazed over all these quests. And then, you know, the, the Lotro devs really put a lot into these to try to, you know, give us a story. And I've really noticed that a lot of these people, like this guy right here, you know, this 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 is regarding the quest about you know the hiders and seekers. It's always that trivial quest that you're just going around and trying to find Daisy and Rolo, and then also trying to find um, um, Odo, which we know where he's at. But I mean, they've already mentioned that if you go back to the same guys and actually look at the quest and actually talk to them again, they give you clues. And so, I mean, you know, we've been going through and actually really going through and, and trying to understand and do each of these steps of these quests. Like this guy right here, um, he was the third location in which they suggested, or I think it's this guy, I haven't talked to him yet, um, of where the hiders and seeker where, where Odo is. And I went into the, the uh, baby and the bee, or the uh, baby and the bird, and there's only the tavern keeper up there that has the reef. And, well, hey, thanks Grimstorm for hosting. Appreciate it. Um, and, but Largo Boffin here is the only one that has a blue ring here, which I, I believe it's indication that it, it adds extra information to an existing quest. So I've come up to this guy, and I'm actually going to talk to him to see if he has anything to do with it. And again, I mean, this is why I want to do this, is we've been playing these games for so long, this adds the extra little flavor to, I mean, understanding the quest and having fun with the quests because they're here. So I thought I might as well do it. Um, so let's see what Largo Boffin has to say. 
Other pipes used to work here in the bird and the baby. In fact, he and I were responsible for rolling out the barrels when they were, call when they were called for and rolling them back when, when they were emptied. One time, he helped me climb up onto the roof to fix a leak up there. That was the very rainy spring, and the rain was like to, uh, was like to flood us out of the hole um, wasn't patched up, or the hole that wasn't patched up. He was a good fellow, that Odo. After a while, he decided he didn't want to roll barrels anymore, and he moved on. Not sure what he's up to these days. So, those are the three clues that we had for him. That uh, he used to work here, and that was from, um, I can't remember saying Rolo, not Rolo, the other one. Daisy says he likes to be up in the, up, up high, and if you actually came to the sky right here, he actually pretty much told us pretty much where he's at. Ooh, thank you. Thanks for the follow. I guess I haven't seen the, the update on that yet. And um, and he actually, if you go to this third guy here, he actually pretty much tells you where he was. So if it wasn't for the actual quest rings and us being able to see the quest rings on someone, um, we wouldn't have really, I mean, using these actual extra guys here to discover. Oh, thank you, Brittany. Appreciate it. Um, you know, you go through these extra clues and actually tell you where the stuff is at. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do for this adventure series is that I'm going to disable um, my quest guide, or at least the arrow that tells me where to go. Because that's, I think that's, that's, again, we've always had these on there. And I don't want to use it anymore. I want to actually discover it, uh, discover where these these answers are. Again, I've, I've been to many of these places, but I want to find them based off of the information that we were given and the information that the quest tells us. Because I think that is the important information that's, um, that the Dells have given us, the you know the story developers, is because all the clues are in the story. Instead of us using these little quest rings and the arrows on the little mini-map, which means I actually might turn off. I have, I have a toggle. I do have a toggle here for my mini-map. Yeah. I'm not, I am no longer using my mini-map. <laughs> mini-map is gone. Um, and enable quest guide. That show the quest guide on map, show the quest guide on radar. Okay, well, that's gone. So now we're completely blind. Um, and I think that's actually, this is gonna be pretty cool. We're completely blind. And we're solely gonna be going off of all these quests based off of the stories. And oh, that's why I'm gonna welcome the comments of the people in chat try to discover uh, the answers to these. And again, I we're going to talk about these quests and, and how to find the answers. And I, try not to base off your answers off of the information you already know. Because a lot of this I already know. But I want to really do this based off of the quests, the really intense information that these devs have given us. And I really make use of it. I think that would be pretty cool. So feel free to message in chat. Feel free if you know, if, uh, if there's anything in there that we're trying to discover, let me know. Um, so this tavern keep um, is the only one in here, additionally, that has quests for us. Carlo Blag, or Blagrobe, Blagrobe, that's kind of weird. Okay, bird and the baby. Hello there. Haven't seen you here before. Sit down. Take a mug of my Black Rose Brown. Oh, yes, that's right. That's his. Good stuff, ain't it? Best you ever had. No? Oh, well. You see, I've, I've been entering the all-farthing brewing moot every year like clockwork for, for nigh on 50 years now, and not one prize to my name. Maybe it's not good. But this time, I think I got the smell of the, of the best of the show. See, I, 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 I just heard that my old great-granddad, a took he was, 
um, who were around the burn of the baby in his day, won the moot prize most every year he entered. They say his brown was the best, but it seems the recipe died with him because the bird just just hasn't been able to compete since those days. Maybe it's just because you're a bad brewer. <laughs> I'm thinking he might have written down his recipe somewhere. If it would be anywhere, it would be in the Great Schmeels over the Tuckborough to the east of Michael Delving. I wonder, would you mind maybe going over there and uh, take a look? If you find that old recipe, I'll give you the first taste of the new brew. Okay, so we need to, again, I remember this one right here. So it wants us to go into the Great Schmeels over in Tuckboro. Now, I will use the map because that is something that is given to us. It's something that would be in common. So I'll use the map to see where locations are. As you can see, oh, outside, there's not going to be any information on there to show quest areas. So using the actual quest dialogue, um, that will kind of guide me as to where stuff is supposed to be at. Again, most of us, most of us, uh, most of us know the answer to where most of the stuff is. I guess I can get some fishing. Um, I train it. But um, <coughs> and I think it's pretty cool to use the actual skills, the actual knowledge of this information. Okay, so feel free to feel free to chat. Charles Warmonk. Now, I just want to make sure, can someone uh, post something in chat? I just want to make sure randomly you guys are not able to chat for whatever reason. I just want to make sure everyone, um, we can chat. But there is, I know that, um, people, other moderators, other people have commented. I just want to make sure that people actually can chat. So if someone can just send out a message. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay, you're good. Okay, I just want to make sure everyone everyone's alive out there. <laughs> um, okay, awesome. So, echo, echo, echo. All right, yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay, good. So now that we're everyone's alive and and no one's up, oh, and I guess what I can do is I can turn my music back on. And like I was telling with everyone when I started the second episode, oh, because that's that's actually a commercial. But the music that I like to listen to, some of the music I listen, like to listen to are playing, is a music by the Lonely Mountain Band. As, and as many of you might know, the Lonely Mountain Band is both a kinship that I belong to in the, uh, the Landreville server, the Lonely Mountain Band, but it's also a musical group. They actually uh, compose music. I mean, many of the members complete uh, compose music for the game itself. But there's also many people actually complete albums and they actually sell them. Um, yeah, I like, I like, I mean, again, before I don't do character voices, but this I thought would be interesting. It really adds to the flavor of having played the game for nine years. And when you go through this, you might as well give character voices, right? <laughs> um, but the Lonely Mountain Band actually has their music on um, Spotify. Because I don't have a, a membership, I get the ads as well. So I usually just like disable the sound when I'm doing the ads. So let's get started. Uh, hello. Oh, there we go. Again, with with me disabling the quest guide, I'm not going to know which one's closer. So, but based off of the information, click the yellow recipe. That's going to be in the schmeal. Find Odo. Oh, we can actually find Odo. So it's got to be above, I think he's over here. Just where the clue, the third clue actually told us. Above the bird and the baby on the roof. See, that's the advantage of actually doing the quests. I'm actually looking here. My, uh, my delay on my <coughs> feed is like, it's got to be at least 10 seconds. <laughs> So if you, I guess in chat, I see it as real time, but what you hear in, in the actual sound is, is uh, 
is delayed about 10 seconds. Okay, so Odo Pipes, what do you have to say? You found me! Very well done! Very well done indeed! Next time I'll need, the, need to choose a better hiding place, I suppose. I thought this was perfect. Well, because someone invited you out. <laughs> Obviously, he was probably pissed at you that you left him. You should return to Roll and tell him that he knows how to choose a good seeker. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> I was kind of told where you were. And let's go back to Rolo. Ouch. Okay. Where is Rolo? Oh, that's right. He was over by the bank. Rolo. Oh, he's over here. Someone told us. Oh, can it? Yeah, it's, it's weird without the, the, the radar. So it's like you're always looking at the radio to help guide you towards where you're going. Without that radio, you kind of feel blind. But I guess it really makes sense on uh, uh, us trying to do this. Trying to do it right, right? Okay, Rolo Newbeck. So you, <coughs> you found Odo Pipes? Excellent. He was on the he was on the bird of the baby inn the whole time. He must have some Turkish blood in him. You'll never get me up there. I can tell you that. Here are some uh, coins I promised you, um, Bababile, and uh, take my thanks as, uh, as well. If, if they ever get me uh, to play uh, Hiders and Seeks again, I'll be sure to let you know. That way, if, if you can give a good stern look I was talking to and ask me what I was thinking. Okay, and just like we saw before, and again, if you can kind of let me know in chat, is that the nudes shoes has durability that means it can break my old shoes same armor can't break so i mean in my impression <coughs> the shoes that threadbare cloth shoes are better and i obviously have i have still have a better cloak because i still have the anniversary cloak as far as i know the shoes are still i mean I still have better shoes. Guess I'll get them anyways. So hopefully, there's that delay there. So hopefully, uh, someone kind of had an idea. I think I had the right idea. If it doesn't have any decay, it's not going to break. Okay. So next step here is talk to Dora Brownlock. She's in Waymeet. Close up the burrows. Oh, that's the shrews. They said the shrews were their shrews were buried to the east of Michael Delving. So that's in, that's in the farms. Hey, half pints, welcome and thanks for hosting. How's it going tonight? Ruby Primrose. So, that, so that's going to be east of Michael Delving. Collect. That's going to be in the Schmiel. and. Oh, that's the fishing one. So that's going to be over probably by Hobbiton. Okay. So I think... Oh, and we also have the one that's... We do have... The one that's up north. Refurbishing the town hole. Town hole... Okay, we have to go with the needle hole. Which I think there's quests up there as well. So... And that's, okay, we don't want to go to Labilia yet. How's it going, Half Pint? <laughs> so uh, we're going through and actually reading the quests. Without quest, uh, again, without quest guides and without a radar. So it's really using the quests, the, the quest indicators, the, the, the story oh, the storyline to uh, kind of get us... Uh, uh, give us an idea of what um, <coughs> uh, the answers to the the riddles of the quests. So I think I'm, we're going to go up the needle hole. So I think that's so I can clear up everything in this area. I'm just going to run all. The, oh, we can also get the uh, the stable. See, this is nice view. I've always liked the view here in the Shire. 
as always, I mean, unless it's storming, there's some nice, nice clouds. It's always so green. You know, it's up bounders everywhere. Bounding. Okay, I'm a bounder, bounding. Oops, I guess I have to come down this way. Right? Yeah. <coughs> and, uh, I always like how it looks. I drink this with the sun every morning. Here, let me turn up my sound here. So that we guys can hear the actual ambient sound. But I guess that's kind of weird when you're a new master. That way you guys can actually hear it. Keep that low. I love, yeah, I do love the Shire. Look at this water. I mean, I like, I mean, with this new laptop I have, um, I've maxed everything out. I mean, it's the first time in nine years I've really had a laptop that, one, can sustain higher graphics. Two, I can actually stream with. Um, and it's like, with this new graphics, I have everything on max. You can actually see the reflection in the water. Look at that. We're still going north, right? <laughs> see, without my radar, I'm having to use the uh, landscape to uh, kind of guide me. I believe I'm still going north. Oh, there's oh, there, there, that, there's the waterfall. Whoa, got aggro. <laughs> Harmonious melody. Yes, I don't want to kill this. Stuff. I want to kill them. There's the other, uh, four. Uh-oh. Uh, I want to die. I'm going to go this way. Yeah. See? Is that? Where's the rainbow? We need, we need some rain. We can have a nice rainbow. Okay. We got the Russia fog. Again. <laughs> I keep on looking for my radar to help guide me to make sure I'm going through the holes. So I'm mean, gonna have the map I can use, but I'm trying to guide my way without the map as much as possible. Kind of using a geography to find my way there. Again, for me that 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 adds another element to questing, which I mean, which we never do. We always have the stuff that's automatically added and toggled for us through questing. I remember back playing the original EverQuest, there were no guides, there were no rings, there were no way of knowing whether or not an NPC gave you a quest. And I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy because you know, back then, you know, you would, you would communicate, there it is, you would try to communicate with them, uh, with, with, the, with the, uh, the, the NPCs, and you would try to figure out whether or not they actually have a quest related. <coughs> and we've kind of gotten uh, spoiled. Look at that. Take a bath. I can't even get in it. It actually stops me. Um, we've kind of become spoiled with all these, these uh, quest indicators. Because, you know, I went back and played the original EverQuest. And I feel, I mean, they added some of the new stuff. That's, it felt so obsolete. But see, I can't tell, I mean, you're seeing it on the, the stream, so I don't know how much of a quality it is. Uh, I mean, I, I, I play, because that's why I'm looking up, I play, I actually, my display is my big screen TV. I have like a, I don't know, I think it's like what, a 30 inch, 30 by whatever. So that's my monitor. <laughs> And my and then I have my laptop, which is what I have the stream going on, and so kind of I see it better than what I, it actually is. Or at least at least that's what I see on my. It, it's it's worse on my laptop, like the visual. So I don't know what you guys see. I see what's in the recordings, but can't really tell. Okay, so apparently we're having a find. Who is it that was up here? Oh, that was um, Ruffle Boffin. Duffle Boffin? 
Oh, there's another po oh, we have another postmaster. So when we go back down, we can get this postmaster taken care of. There he is, see? I found him without a ring. I found him without an arrow, <laughs> just by following the information. So that's part of why I want to do this. So I'm actually having a good time doing this. Okay, Griffo. This is this is about because the 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 assistant um, mayor. I guess at some point the roof of the town hall fell in, so they're actually looking to see about uh, refurbishing it. They want they they're trying to. Do some repairs on the actual uh, town hall. So I guess he has something to do with it. I know what you're thinking. That I stole the money. Oh, that's right. Because he was actually hired to fix it. That's right. That I stole the money. But I didn't. I, I was taking the money on a shortcut across the bog to Overhill where the carpenters are working today. And uh, these ragged little dwarves came running down at, at me from the north. See, as we're speaking about dwarves, music comes across and talking about dwarves. Dwarves! <laughs> they have axes! And they look like they meant to use them. Dwarves. <coughs> um, let's see what we got here. They have axes, and they look like they meant to use them. So I don't mind saying that I ran as fast as I could back to town. But I dropped the bag of the money along with the way I turned um along the way I turned my ankle too. Haha! I was just trying to come, um, I was just trying to come up with some way to tell Mayor the bad news when you showed up. Uh huh. I collected some money back. Ah. Okay. Um. See, what's crazy is because normally we're used to seeing the overhead map. Or the 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 the, uh, the, na the nav bar to see if they actually oh there, there's a saber master to see if they had quests here we'd just look and it would see if we see a ring <coughs> but without that I actually have to look around I think that goes into Arab Woman and we actually have to look around for, whoa no 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 <laughs> no no Oh man. <laughs> See, watch where you're going when you're on the cliff. <laughs> okay, let's get back up here. Hiring people is probably the oh, worst part of my job. Oh, we're going over there. We started oh, using ZipRecruiter about three months ago. I really need to subscribe. Job was posted to a hundred plus job boards. It's okay. There we go. I need to subscribe, so I don't have any stupid ads. Okay, let's fix this here. Uh huh. Okay, so with the postmaster, where does he want to go to? Um, post, click the pass after the postmaster. The dwarves here don't understand the importance of quick post service and insist that letters and packages can be delivered whenever it is most convenient. That is a preposterous. Oh, this might be Delphi. Preposterous, of course. Imagine if Postmaster Proudfoot allowed us to a degree of laziness. Speaking of the, uh, the Postmaster, I have a bundle of mail that needs to go into Michael Delvey. If you're going into uh, going that way, I'd appreciate if you dropped it off to Postmaster Proudfoot by a, the town hall. The town hall was surrounded by hedges. If you hadn't visited before, yes, we found. Oh, and actually, it's in the town hall. Go at once and let no nosy hobbits interfere with your duty. You'll have a long walk ahead of you, especially if you head south to weigh meat, and then cut west across the field to Michael Delving. Keep the satchel drill. Oh, that means I can't swim, so I have to watch you out for the water. 
Keep the satchel dry, even when traveling through the Rushuk bog. That's right, I gotta, okay, I'm not gonna get there yet, cause we're not supposed to go back to Michael Delving yet. So, and we got you over here. What do you want? Something nearby, right? Gracious me, I am glad to see you. You see, my cow Daffodil, She's gone missing, and I suspect some foul play. Yesterday, a dwarf came by my farm, Alwer was his name, and he wanted to buy my daffodil. <laughs> well, I couldn't sell her. She's the only cow I got. The only way I'll sell her if I have some seeds. Some magic beans. No, just kidding. He didn't seem to take that well. I think he may have gone back, uh, may have come back uh, and stolen her. Now, I don't worry. I don't know where he might have taken her, but I do remember that he that his boots were caked in mud. I'll wager he was out tramping about in the Russia fog. Maybe that's where he took her. Start looking at Trolls Knoll southeast of here. We have to actually go southeast. Uh, as far as I know, with the quest that we're on here, the money bag. That takes us north, right? I think the orcs are around here. Southeast is down in here, so it's into the bog. So I'm going to take care of <coughs> those orcs first. Into the orcs. So, so we're trying, wait, what are we looking for? Are we trying to kill them? Uh, needle hole. Okay, between needle hole and over the hill. Their camp is somewhere there behind tall wooden bulwarks. So that is the hill. So it's right here. So I guess we could hit it as we go through. Okay, sure. I can do that. We can hit, uh, see if we can find that cow. Maybe the cow's in between. Again, it's, it's kind of weird flying, um, <laughs> flying blind without my, uh, my compass. So we're Keep an eye out for, not a bog toad, keep your eye out for where a, where a cow is. If you see a cow, let me know. Um, and we're also looking for the fort. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, it's petrified bog slug, bog slug. <coughs> Can you guys hear the uh, the sound effects? Okay. They seem to, I mean, even for me, they seem pretty low. Maybe I'll increase sound effects more so you can actually hear it. So you can hear the ambient sound. So you hear the sound effects. Because the way I'm having to do my sound, just so the way this is set up is use the music going can is um making so that the sound for the computer comes from my tv and that i guess my microphone is on my head okay where's our cow no cow so far that's this music is actually pretty eerie <laughs> For it's eerie for the area. Yeah, I, I increased it max, so you should be able to hear it now. Because the microphone is actually coming through my laptop, an external microphone. And what I'll do is let me turn the sound on my TV up, because that is where the actual sound effects where the actual sound is coming from for in-game. So now we're at like about 60%. So maybe that'll be better. Okay. Uh, still no cow. Hello! It's weird doing this without... You're better now? Okay, awesome. Uh, moo cow. It's gotta be a cow here. Right? We're looking for a cow, right? Uh, oh yeah, because we're fine daffodil. Uh, 
And I have my draw distance on Max. She should still be able to see her. And the quest tells us... Trolls Knoll in the Rushak Bog, Southeast. Yeah, it's the same. So southeast. So it's gotta be in this area. Doesn't it count north? Should still be in the bog. There's the bridge. Haven't been over here yet. Should still have a good draw distance. Got moving over there. Those might be bugs. Oh, that's, a, that's slugs. But now we're not southeast. Where are those flowers? Look how pink those flowers are. Come here, Daffodil! I'm only gonna look for you for so long. And we're still- we're not in Southeast. Where are you? Okay, well we might have to look for her on the way back. Okay, let's try to find that- that fort. It's in between... The hill in the bog. So it's going to be somewhere around here. I think that's still south over there. I mean, it's got to be, I mean, it's a stone structure, a wooden structure. I mean, I know we have the the, the the ones that are up there. Yeah, I mean, if if you go off of the actual quest, I mean, it's it's southeast. And that's this area. I guess this is still technically southeast. See, we're going away from the hill. So we need to... I don't think it's going to be on the hill. So there's the, that's the hill right there. And that's over there by the back, by back end. So we're going to come over here. I think, yeah, I think it's... I, okay, so it's got to be the one that's over here. The one that's tucked in the corner. The one... I mean, is this is... This is... Heck, in between. I think there's that structure that's there. Uh, so there's really nothing here. No stone structures, or uh, wooden structures. This is taking us up onto the hill. There is now entering the hill. See, there's it over there, right there. It's gotta be this one that we're talking about. Again, I know there is the dwarf quest over here, but should I just go and base off of the, <laughs> the quest clues? I mean, this is kind of in between. I mean, it's technically in between, if you look at the directional. Whoa. What's up? Ooh, uh oh. <clears throat> See? Encounter. Encounter, uh. Dwarves already. I guess there's no quest. We need a. Uh, what are we looking for? We collect the coin first. Oop. There's no aggro. Okay, good. So, okay, see, this is the difficult part because <coughs> normally with the quest guide on the map, we see a general area. I think it's actually inside. But we, uh, we always see a general area where we should look. I believe we still go inside. From what I remember. Take that! 
on the issue. A bound without a chill, just utterly defenseless. Die! There we go. <coughs> Who's gonna have the coin? Oh, there's a money bag right there. On the ground. Just leave it in where anyone can get it. I think it would be in someone's pocket. Uh -oh. ah! All right, give us that money bag. Woohoo! <coughs> All right. So, bring the money bag back to the assistant. We have to all the way down south. But while we're still here. We need to uh, try to find the cow. It's got to be in there somewhere. Whoa! Dang it. I don't have any type of dates yet. I have to call. Let's return. Okay. So it's time to find our cow. Holy cow. She's gotta be here somewhere. She's probably in between here <coughs> and Needle Hole. I'd expect her to be white. Oh. Oh, and then it goes down that way. Oh, man. So this is where it opens up, gets bigger. And, I mean, you'd think the cat, she would be on, like, the, on these islands or something? And we got slugs now. I mean, we've kind of been over here. There's our cow! Holy cow! So we got toads, but no cow. Got plenty of bugs. Eee. There's. Where's our cow? The cat had been wandered off too far. Right? Because the quest said... Trolls Knoll. So there's got to be a, some sort of knoll. A big knoll. In the bog. And what's... I mean, there's a raised area over here. What about up here? That seems to really be the only real a couple race spots. So there's these race spots here. This is considered a null. So not um here, right? Okay, well, there's there's another null there. Oh there's these nulls. See, I mean, just going base off of just without a a radar and with no quest guide, I mean, you can tell just a simple one can sometimes be difficult. Oh, there's Trolls Null! Look at that! Look at it! Look at it! We found Trolls Null! <laughs> <Woo. coughs> so we know that we're in the geographical area. Whoa! No! <laughs> Uh, uh. Aww. Who killed the cow? 
Who killed Cal? This poor cow looks like it was attacked and partially eaten by a large beast of some kind. Around its neck, you find a bronze bell. Let the bell. <coughs> I hope this troll doesn't come alive. This thing is huge. Okay. So we need to... Bring the bell back to Silver Torture. Uh, we are... This way? Right? I don't know, it's up this way. Okay, but at least we found the, the cow. See? <laughs> using the geography, see, it, it, again, it, it's different than just using the easy to go, walk, follow the arrow, look in the geographic arrow area <clears throat> based off of colored brown. I, 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 I highlighted areas. Um, you go out there, you use the geography, it's based off of what's in the actual quest material, the quest um, logs, and we found it. Um, and I think that's, I mean, that makes the questing more enjoyable because you can discover and find the stuff using your own knowledge, using your own searching capabilities. And I think that's what really makes it cool. <coughs> Is that we're no longer? I mean, when you when you when you do the stuff, you're glazing over it. I mean, you you don't really listen to the quest. You run into a general area until you're within the highlighted areas, and then you look around. <clears throat> but that's not really using the quest. That's not using the quest to, to discover it. And we found it. So where was that? That was uh, it's right here. I got I got the I got the see it now. I got the. The discovery, so that's actually ping, uh, ping glade. That's the troll's knoll. So now we actually know where the troll's knoll is. See again, <coughs> we kind of really take that stuff for advantage. Those those actual icons. Now I actually can find the location again, based off of those flags, because we actually learned something. Oh hi, this is Daffodil's bell. What could have attacked her so horribly? Why did that dwarf take her? Poor Daffodil. Poor, poor thing. Someone needs to pay for this. Please. You need to do something. Man, what, what am I going to do? We don't know who it is. I wish we don't know who it is. Founders Chub? Wait, what? I'm not going to do anything with that. With a chub. That Alweer has to pay for stealing my Daffodil and her and for leaving her out in the bog to be killed like that. The dwarves passed through the needle hole, or the dwarves who passed through the needle hole, may not pay any mind to the ordinary hobbits, but I recommend they'll listen to a bounder of the watch. You go tell Bounder Chubb, and you I like the name, <laughs> Bounder Chubb, about this, and uh, maybe you two can uh, keep the dwarf from uh, getting away from, with this. Founder Chubb is on the south side of Needable. He'll help about poor Daffodil and do something about this old weir. The south side. So, uh, that's north. South side's this way. Right? It's right there. Okay. What? Silvers? Cow is dead? And he suspects a dwarf? This is outrageous! Most of the dwarves who pass through here are agreeable lot. But lately, there's been more than a few rascals about. I don't know this Alver, but it, it wouldn't surprise me if he was one of the, or that bad lot. His problem is I can't go off accusing dwarves of being thieves without proof. That would upset the whole lot, and uh, we'd probably never find one responsible. What to do? <coughs> what do you want me to do? Come on. I'm waiting for my orders. <coughs> the dwarves of Needlehole. 
I've got it. There's a dwarf by the name of Ulfar, with whom I've had some villains in the past. He might be of some help, I think. Or I, I think he's a sort of an overseer for the dwarves, or a, some such. In fact, just the other day, there was a bit of a tussle between the two of the folk, and Ulfar traded, or waited in, uh, and broke it up. The other dwarves seem to respect him, so we might know something about uh, his people here that, uh, well, uh, we can, uh, will, will, be use, will be of use to us. You should be able to find Ulfar up among the dwarf buildings north of Needlehole. Dwarf buildings north of Needlehole? Are we going into that port? Tell him that you told me, and hopefully he'll be able to help us. So I can't click him, guys. So, the dwarf buildings north. That's... Well, it's got to be. It's got to be over so here. Many websites in the right? World. Standing out online is harder than ever. And Squarespace's oh, designer over templates, here. simple interface, and award-winning customer support help you Looks create like a website that stands out instead of in your way. There it is, right Start there. Free trial See? today at Squarespace. Uh -huh. When you're ready to launch, not really it's north. Offer Spotify kind of north. to save ten percent. Same town. Okay. Set your website apart with Squarespace. No <sighs> way. Go away, advertisements. At sub no one wants Subway right now. Okay. Oh, far. I supervise the dwarves here. I, I, I supervise the dwarves here. Keep them well fed and well supplied. What can I do for you? I. It doesn't surprise me that Ulwer is involved in this. A number of dwarves passing through lately are of low character, and he's the worst. I wish I could tell you where he was, but uh, not, I've not seen him about uh, for a few days. Those other dwarves might have seen him. In fact, just the other day, I saw a bunch of them crowding around a parchment of some sort. I didn't catch what they were talking about, that did not hear Ulmer's name mentioned. That parchment could have been their orders. If you can go out to the Russia Bog and acquire a few of those letters from the dwarf hunters, hunters out there, we might learn what Ulmer is up to. So we're gonna go off and uh, some orcs, not some orcs, some dwarves. <coughs> I don't think there's nothing other. Hey, look at that. Is that the one? This is one of the ones that we can give beer to. Um, yeah, it's Stable Master. It's a little, little new quest up here. Okay. Let's go kick the butt of some dwarves. Whee! So that's going to be north of here. Shouldn't take. Much. I think you just have to get one of them. One piece of orders. And we can actually figure out if they have if they're doing something. That is slug. So if they have any plans. Yeah, you really don't learn about these actual plans or really think about it because you're really always in a rush to kind of get to the end. You really never think about the story. <coughs> It's interesting to do it here. Oh, there we go. So the dwarf should be up here. Got a toad. Anyone want like a toad? Actually, see, I want one of these toads. Are these one of the toads that you, are these the styles of the toads you get as pets? Or are they the smaller, regular toads? These are actually, I would love to have one of these. It's actually pretty cool looking. Um, that's another bot code. And that's buzzing gnats. I think that's up towards the port. A 
and the slug. What is that? Oh, there's, there's a hunter right there. Die! Oh, there we go. Got some orders. Do I get it? Oh, we get to read the orders. Okay, I see. I actually never really read these. So this is cool. To the dwarf Olor, son of the Dowerhounds and loyal to our cause. Word of your promise has reached my ears, and you will be great in my eyes if you can deliver on it. If a stone troll might be captured in this land called Shire, I will reward you with riches beyond any you or your fathers have seen. Do not fail in this, for punishment will come as swiftly as reward. Scorgrim Dariant, mightiest, mightiest. See? Come enters, or thus enters, Scorgrim Darahan into the Hobbit storyline. <laughs> so, we want to bring the orders back to Ulfar. So, it looks like, um, it's weird, because I'm wondering if that has anything to do with, it's, it's not part of the prologue. It's still, it's still, effect, it's still interacting with the actual Dwarven storyline. So... <coughs> The dwarves, the, the uh, what were they called? The uh, longbeards? I think they're called the longbeards. Darahounds are the Darahounds. The Darahounds came in from, uh, came in from uh, Arid Lowen, uh, from the north, <coughs> and is having interactions um, with, the, with the local folk here. And it sounds like he's trying to have an impact on the Shire. Which I actually never realized. So apparently, it sounds like they're trying to get a stone troll. We know the stone trolls existed here because we have the stone troll null. We saw that stone that was that was that was uh, not frozen, but um, not frozen. What's the word? Stone to death. It was I guess calcified. And so we know that they're around here. And my question is, I wonder if that stone troll, the one that's already that's already frozen, frozen, that uh, is already calcified, is um, has any part in the story, or just the fact that there's a troll there or stone there. Let's see. Ah, good, you found them. As I told you, the bunch is up to no good. Now, hand the letters over. <clears throat> I'd like to, letters. I only have one. I'd like to look over them. The fools! These orders you found weren't written by Olwer. Some dwarf named Scorgrim promises riches to Olwer uh, if Olwer can, can deliver. Hardly, I hardly believe it. A stone troll? I paid no mind to old wives' tales of such creatures in the bog. But Olwer must have intended and promised to one as a gift. I cannot imagine what the dwarf uh, would want with such a vile creature. But I can't be but I can't be for any good reason purpose. So I what level am I? I'm level eight. I won't be able to use the one handed hammer, I don't think. I can't remember when you can actually get it. I don't think I don't think I can use a hammer. I'm gonna get some sausage. Bill, would you like some sausage? Bill, would you like some sausage? Who would who would have thought the theft of a cow would uncover a plot such as this? We must foil Almer's plans. If he was captured a troll, we must slay it. Fortunately, I have learned where Almer and his dwarves are camping. They can be found in the north of the Rushek Bog. However, getting into the camp and slaying the troll, the stone troll, if they have one, will not be easy. But we need help. Gather a party of warriors, if there are any to be, <coughs> uh, to be found in the land, then return here. Make sure to gather sturdy warriors for the battle ahead. 
would not be easy. Ooh, I don't think I can. But look at something I can get here. I can get some shoulders. A robe. I don't know if I like that robe. I'm getting another sword. Um, I'm wondering if there's a solo version of this quest. Uh, so, <coughs> uh, wish me luck. <coughs> um, I don't know if I can do this by myself. We'll see. <laughs> Um, hopefully, maybe it, it will, it will scale to me. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> Let's see how I do. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can do this by myself. I know, right? All right. Well, at least we have Ulfar. Ulfar will help. Okay, I want to make sure I get... Okay, I have um, my timeless Echoes of Battle. This is new. The skill must be... Must target an enemy and is only usable in dissonance. Minus 62 target song and cry resist rating. Uh, so it's a DLT, 19 through 28. So, I'm going to move you over here. I need you, this is going to be a launch on it, so it's a, deal, it's a dot. I'm going to move you over here. That is my call. That's, 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 good. that's a good damage right there. And I can, let me, let me use some, let me get some, some mushrooms. Oh, actually, uh, what do I have here? I want to continue swiftness. I'm going to use my guy there. What is this? Oh, stop it. I guess I drank it. <laughs> I don't know what it was because I didn't read it. Removes. Oh, it's okay. That was a waste there. Give him my mantham or madam. And it's the die. With my mushrooms. Okay, I actually do have some heal over here. I have my own heal. 42 to 60, but this does more. Why did I just, I didn't touch it! I think my mouse is kind of messed up. So, I won't have this heal for about two minutes. <laughs> okay. So, let me get rid of my guy. I don't need you. All right, well... Uh, I'm not gonna have to worry about that, but I might as well have it over here just in case. But I have my heal over here if I need it. Hopefully, I won't need it. All right, now be careful. <coughs> we've got into the camp, and that's, uh, we've got to get into the camp and slay the stone troll that they uh, have may have captured. Also, when we get into the camp, be on the watch for that all work. He won't be too uh, pleased to see us trying to slay his gift. Okay. All right, let's go, he says. All right, uh, where'd you go? Okay. So at least he probably, maybe he can do some damage, or at least he can hold them off. Ah, uh, I know, I know what will get it open. Open up. You in there. Open. Oh, thanks. <laughs> No! No! What are you doing? No! It's two versus three. <laughs> Thanks. Ulfur, leave now if you value your life. You were warned. Uh, no! No! <laughs> no! It's just me. No! What are you doing? Okay, here's. Okay. I gotta use my pallets. Okay. Alright. Uh, use my cry. Ugh. Ofer! You're really trying to get us in trouble. Damn you. Good job. Let's continue on. And you're like, <laughs> well, you, you kind of kind of screwed us there for a moment. I appreciate that. I, I guess I've been uh, away from battle for far too long. <laughs> they, um, the wound, oh, now I don't have him. The wound is painful, but not mortal. 
It will keep me from being of much help, though. Thank you for leaving it all to me. You must continue without me and slay the stone troll if they're captured. If they've captured one, James. And <clears throat> don't forget to be on the watch out for Alwer. He would do his best to stop you. I'll stay behind and make sure none of these none of these lot escape. Thank you. <coughs> uh, um. Um, so, nah, just me? Um, okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, good luck. Me. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just a new bounder. Hey, look at that, look at that cloak. It's a cool cloak. Okay. Just a new bounder, trying to make my way. I'm um, not probably a very good bounder. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a musician. Please don't hurt me. Stone troll. So I'm not going to attack unless I have to. I'm just, I'm just a minstrel. They kind of um, forced me into this job. What do they call that? Not indentured servitude. What's that? For, what's that type of person who? They knock over the head and take them onto a ship. I can't remember what it's called. Okay, there's only going to be two here. But they're on patrol. Maybe I can get that one. Yeah? Yeah? No! <laughs> You're not supposed to come to. This is the one party. This is the one person fight. They can save your turn. Ah. All right. <coughs> no, no. You're not supposed to all come. No one called Doctor All Come. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. No holding my, holding my, uh, my, my first one. Oh. All right. Oh no! Why did I do that? So I guess I can use my coda. Take him out. Okay. Awesome. So I've, I like this coda here. You have to use three of your ballads, and it creates a coda, which does like up to two hundred and fifteen damage. So if I can get the if I can get the coda up, uh, uh, up by the time I kill one of these guys, and I can use it to final attack someone else, or this guy out for the last. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, no one down there that we need to deal with. Oh, oh I can't see. Uh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. What is... Uh, I hear something behind me. Kind of awkward. No! Okay. I, I, I can get you guys. Coda to the rescue. Okay. Here we go. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I wish I had a spell. Got someone at the door. I don't care. Okay, I'll just scream at him. Go away! Oh, I guess I can't reach him. <laughs> go away! Die! I kill you with my dagger. I don't even have a shield. I need, I need a shield. There we go. Okay. Got some people up there. Oh, look at that. There's a cage. It's a cage. Look, there's a troll. <laughs> We're gonna have to find a troll. Uh, now, if I can get this one by itself. Yes, I got him. And my Koda! Impossible. Dwarves will not fall into the likes of you. Now, who's he talking to? Oh, 
Oh man, this kind of sucks. Because there's like four of them. Um, what if I, and he's at level nine, I'm level eight. Is there any way can I, I don't have the ability to stun yet. But I can use you <coughs> as a one off. I can use you as another instant hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, use my glass so I can get more hope. Just in case. But I also have um then I have some other hope things. Just in case. Okay, well, here we go. Uh should I hit him first? I think I should Wait, oh, there's five of them? There's five. 